And now that we've done that, we're going to create another SQL recipe or instruction. And what this part is going to do is, it is going to select all of the profile specific information. Select all of the profile specific information found in this particular user's row. <clears throat> so select everything, it's the star, from the table user where uh, the column user username is equal to user username. So basically it's, it's saying select everything for the username with this username. Now we run the SQL query and then we're going to uh, re we're going to organize the the return result into an associative array. How we do that is we use the MySQL function here, MySQL underscore fetch underscore sock, and then the variable we just created right here. And that's basically going to create an array, and it's going to allow us to do this part right here. So basically, we can say row uh, row brackets and then the column name and we can define that as user age we can do the same thing for user country and user join date to Linux and so this part right here is just allowing us to define the variable so we can use it in a more easier way in the PHP code that's going to follow now for the Linux date time this is where I get to the interesting part this is where it's going to convert uh, actually, this part is going to be where it's going to convert the the long, big, uh, unreadable number into a user-friendly month, date, year format. So I've created the 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 user join date Linux variable here, and how we're going to convert that is by defining a new variable and using the PHP date function. Basically, F, J, S, and Y stands for um uh let's see. F stands for the month in the full full January format. I think if it's like M or like lowercase m, it's like Jan or, or 01 for January. And J is the date. And then S is the like the first or third, like the, 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 pre, the what's the opposite of prefix? Suffix? The suffix for the date. And Y is for a year. So capital Y and lowercase y will be different. If you want to find out what more specifically these are, just type just type in a date PHP function in Google and you'll find what they are. And type in the syntax for date format. It's very easy to find. And how you use the date function here, or how I've used it here, is define the way I want the date to appear, which is in this format here, January 8th, 2011. And if you see, there's a comma right here, and I also have a comma right here, so that's how it corresponds. And then the variable name in the Linux format. So whenever, from now on, after this point, whenever I def whenever I call the variable user join date, it's going to be in the January 8th, 2011 format. So it just makes things easier. And since this is an HTML page, we're going to create an HTML page in this page as well, where all the data is going to display. So once again, I define the doc type at the very top, and then header, and then the title. I want it to be the username's profile. If you check here, it says Apple 32's profile in very, very tiny Arial font right there. <clears throat> so how you do that is you open the PHP tag, close it right here, and in between you say echo the variable for username, and make sure you. Uh, you enter a semicolon there to uh, because technically it's still writing PHP code there and it's going to be continued on later. So in our case it's going to return Apple 32's profile. And then in the body we want it to be profiles page for the header, for the title, and then welcome, same thing, welcome Apple 32. And then this is going to be the link for our logouts which we're going to get to later. And then some fun facts about you. You are from then open PHP tag, close PHP tag, echo user country. And then I have a comma here. And open PHP tag, and PHP tag, echo user age. And that's how many years old I am. And you join this website on open close PHP tag, echo user join date. And this is going to be our January 11th, 2008, 2011, 2011 format. 
and that's how you create the profile PHP page. And last but not least, what is the logout page? Or the logout link here, it says uh, logout.php. And if you check out here, what it does is if I click on this, you haven't successfully logged out. Return to login screen. And that's what we're going to create right now. It's very simple. This is all it is. Uh, you have to, first of all, you, ha you do have to connect to the database. So make sure you, you write include, dot, uh, you include cn.php at the very top. And you have to start the session before you can do anything to it. So you have to session start and then session unset will remove all the variables and then session destroy will destroy the verb destroy the whole session altogether and just to confirm you have been successfully logged out return to the login screen and there you go we just created a basic basic uh, PHP user login uh, system with some basic MySQL table and database interaction going on and that's what's going to get you started in your PHP programming career there you go that's what we have it if I go to www.freetutorialsrock.com slash underscore tutorials slash user login slash login.php it's basically the same thing that's what I've done here that's what's going on in these two pages and now I'm going to show you how to edit a few things so that it's friendly for online usage instead of your local host server since that's what you preferably want to do you don't want the point of making a website is not to display it on your own personal computer it's to post it up on the web so that's what I'm going to show you how to do it's very easy I'm only going to change two files and what they will be is going to be this I'm going to be changing the cn.php file and the next and the ins install database.php file which I have renamed to create underscore tables.php file so if we go back to cn.php all I all I've changed the bottom part is the same because I I'm keeping up uh, keeping the same uh, database name the top part for the local host part, you have, instead of typing local host, you have to actually type in the, the, my, the URL address of the MySQL database. It's going to be like www.en32136.mysqldatabase.com or something like that. It's going to be very complicated. You can check that out. If you know how to create, I'm not going to show you how to create a MySQL database in your personal web hosting server because every web host has different uh, user control panel. I personally use GoDaddy. I wouldn't recommend you using GoDaddy unless you want to just have a hobby website that's not going to be that important. Uh, unfortunately, I have my GoDaddy account at the moment. I, I might change in the future or in the near future. Uh, anyways, it's different for every hosting company, so I'm not going to go through that. But if you, if you create, if you use their help section or if you call in for technical support if you're a noob, and you ask how